let me explain something that happened in the last seven months or so, eight months. And when you hear this, you'll be astonished and you may weep. I wept. We had a man, I have to be very careful about how much information I give about this situation, who was assigned to a, a very compartmented, classified project. Uh, he was a civilian, a brilliant inventor, someone who knew much more than Tesla or Einstein or any of these people. He had worked out down to the mathematical formula all the trans-dimensional technologies up to and including, I'm gonna give you a short list, teleportation, dematerialization, anti-gravity, electromagnetoprobitic, energy from the vacuum, et cetera, and so on. And I'm just getting started. This guy is amazing. I've been in his lab. His, now the way this works, let me explain this a little bit. Someone like that, he was in, had his own company. The intelligence community came in and stamped everything top secret, put it in a vault. He then got pulled in as a contractor to do special projects for these compartmented operations. Over the last five years, we had convinced them to set him free and to work with us on these technologies. And there were five, what they call shepherds, this is the word that's used in the intelligence community, who were his shepherds, who were in charge of this kind of classification or policy and they all agreed it was time to bring out the first level of what this gentleman could do which was basically an energy generation device that would run your home or you could put in your car and you would never have to touch a drop of oil and ever have an energy bill because he had this I mean we saw these things now at this point what happened is we said all right has this actually been vetted, evaluated independently? And they said, yes, absolutely. The top Department of Defense laboratory near Washington, D.C. had taken his information and independently, without his assistance, just from his uh, formula and design and engineering specifications, replicated precisely what he had, and it worked. When they did that, a group of people came in and said, leave this alone and put it in a vault and never let it come out again. I know the chief scientist of this lab, who is a very good friend of mine. So this is a technology that has been built, tested, independently reproduced, on the shelf, ready to go. In November of 2008, this past November, Dr. Bravo and I and Dr. Loader, our science advisor and our board, hosted this gentleman at my home in Virginia. I live in a country house out near Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's home. And he came and we met for several days and he agreed to build, that within three months, one of these systems so that we would be able to have this out by this spring to you, the people who need it the good people of the earth. His intelligent shepherds had said, yes, do it. All of them, all of them together, I had met with them. Within three days of his returning to his skiff, which is the term used for underground electronic eavesproof place where you cannot get any communications in or out, but it's a highly classified facility, he was reordered out of that facility and dropped into a rat hole in Iraq as a support technician. This, one of the most brilliant scientists on the world today. He called me up and he said just over and over again, Dr. Greer, just be careful. Dr. Greer, just be careful. Dr. Greer, just be careful. He was someone who put the fear of God in him and he thought he had a clear go because these really well-placed intelligence operatives, but some other people from outside those five shepherds came in and said, oh no, you don't. Let me tell you what I've asked President Obama to do about this situation. President Obama 
has received a briefing, a special presidential briefing from me. And if we had time, I would read all of it to you. It'll rock your world. But part of it has a section talking about these energy technologies related to this whole, well, what I talked about yesterday, WSFM, which is what the CIA calls it, weird science frickin' magic. And in this original that has been provided to the Barack Obama administration and to the new CIA director, I say, look, this man has told me he wants to do it. His immediate shepherds in the intelligence community want him to do it and bring this at first level of the science out, not the anti-gravity stuff, because that does have 